Hey guys, Super Mike from the Four Gate School of Chinese Martial Arts. Uh, it's time for our new Martial Monday series. Today I'd like to talk to you about Tiger Claw. Uh, very often we see in our forms that beginners and intermediate students will have great motion, great posture, great stance, but when they stick out that Tiger Claw, those fingers are already bent. And basically what you've done, if you, you messed up your manicure or broke your fingers, no good. You haven't had an effect on the bad guy. So what we want to make sure is that much like a cat or the tiger, the paw has an impact effect followed by the tear of the claws, or in our case, the fingers, unless you've got some nice extensions going on. Not my style. So as I strike, tonight in class we were working some tiger claw into the tricep. I've got a strike into the joint or into the bottom muscle, the tricep muscle, after which my fingertips, not my pads, but the actual tips, will dig into any crevices I can find. In this case, we're working into the crevice between the bicep and the tricep muscle is a whole bunch of nerves and arteries that run through there. So I have an impact followed by a tear. If I were working up into the chest, I've got an impact followed by the tear. There's a strike and a rip. And as you do your forms, you want to think about this so that as you hit that nice tiger pose, hmm, you've got an impact and a rip. All right, so you can add that into your forms now that you kind of have a visual of it. You can add that into your self-defense. It's very effective. Streetwise, you're probably better off served by an overhook or an underhook, but if you get the opportunity to grab somebody, make sure you grab them so they know they've been grabbed the next day. Put some tiger claw prints in them, all right? So this was Marshall Monday. I will see you next week. Thank you, Brother Frank, for helping out, and uh, have a great night.